All right, so step four is to actually create a product or service or the three products at least and three services for your company and that everybody gets a different type of product based on the business that you selected to create. Uh, just remember that the naming convention is still the same. So you need to have your initials uh, prefix every single product and service and you must create at least 1000 items. You must have at least 1000 items on hand when you set up your product uh, as of 1 1 2018 and your gross margin for all the products must be 50%. Meaning that you have to set up your product to cost exactly half of your selling price. Your services do not have a cost uh, because they're just services in this case. And we are not buying them to sell them again. So we would not have a cost of goods sold uh, account in the same way that we would have the rest. All right, so let's get started so that we can make some sense. All right, so instead of I'm jumping the gun here. Uh, the way you get to your products and services is to go to your gear and go to the list of products and services. Then you can create a new product or service, and then you have the option to select. Is it an inventory item? Meaning, do you carry uh, inventories? And as such, you'll have a cost of goods sold um, that will be attached to that. Or is it just a service that you provide for your customers? So let me start with the services. In this case, I have training on QuickBooks because I am in, in a classroom business or in a, tr uh, a business that gives uh, training for uh, QuickBooks. So I'm going to start by using my initials and then calling it training on QuickBooks. If I wanted to use a category, let's say that in the future I wanted to see how I am, um, uh, if I wanted to generate income statements based on category like training services, then this would be a good, a good way to uh, group stuff. Um, same with class. Uh, I'm going to leave the same as, as, as the class in the, cat the category. I'll just put training services. Um, I'm not asking you to select a particular one. Um, this would be a description that would show on the invoice, like one day of training for QuickBooks uh, online. And let's say that we charge $200. I am going to select the income account. Now I have a bunch of other income accounts because I've uh, played around with this software for other purposes. Um, I could just create a new income account or you could select the one that you have. So the income account would be uh, service fee income and that's it. No name, etc. This is This could be a sub account or my, of my general income account or not, right? So let me just leave it like that, income service fee income. So let me just call this services income, and that's it. I'm going to save it and close it. Notice that that just adjusted and created a new chart of accounts. Uh, this service will be taxable. So very critical here is for every service and product you create, you have to categorize the type of service you are providing so that the software can then interpret what is that you are trying to sell or what is it that you're trying to sell? And then you will look at the regulations and see if in the classifications uh, match if that is taxable in the state of California. So these are the items or the categories that the state of California has put forth. Uh, so you have to kind of guess around or, or work around that and you have to be careful. So some of, some of you have asked, well, my service is not taxable. It's very likely that under California, your service is indeed not taxable and you'll have invoices with no sales tax whatsoever, even though the assignment is asking you to do so. That depends on your business. So every business is different. I'll be looking at the proper categories, categorization of your product. So in this case, I have a professional service. Let me see if I have anything else. So computer and software customization, that's not the case. It's not a software license, not internet, it's not a personal service, it's not an installation or repair service, it's not software mandated data services, software services, this is not it, not it. It might be a professional service. None of this applies except maybe professional services. And from there, um, what do I sell? I sell education, right? So I'm educating clients or uh, workforce development or professional development. In this case, I could be doing management consulting. I could be doing uh, just education. Let me go back. Uh, professional services, but that doesn't describe them very well. It could be a business service. Um, we want to be as close as possible to the type of service you are providing. 
Uh, so in this case, I probably would go with education or, um, and this is not mandatory software updates or anything like that. It could be continuing continuing educational services. So let's let's just call it that. For my case, and I do not purchase this product or service from a vendor, so I don't carry an inventory. So this again is a service. If you make a mistake, you can always change that. But in this case, it's a service, and that's great. So let me save and create a new one. The next one that I want to create is the setup of a QuickBooks company. So that would be FP set up QuickBooks for a company. Set up a QuickBooks. Category again would be uh, training services, or maybe this would be a new type of um, uh, category. Let's call this um, direct services. And you would have a different type of category. Now you sell this product or service to my customers, and this is called a setup of QuickBooks for client. Right, what is this sell? I want to charge $500 to set up a client with QuickBooks because it's pretty complicated. It would take a couple of hours at the very least. Uh, once again, I want to choose my uh, account that says uh, service services income. What is it? I started typing that. I want to call this taxable because I don't know if it's taxable as of yet. I'll let the software decide if it's taxable. So this is customization of software, computer software customization, perhaps, because you're going in there and customizing the software for somebody. Uh, although this may not be um, necessarily a software customization uh, project because I'm not changing or modifying a software uh, that, that I have. Instead, I'm just uh, putting data in it to tailor it to my client. So I could go to software services and go in here and say uh, software training, software installation. So optional software installation, right? So it's not a mandatory thing that you have to do. And in connection to sales software, so this is not in connection with, with um, a sale of a tangible software. That's where we have to make sure that we are careful because Software that adds value to the tangible property that you purchase will be taxable in some states. Um, let's just go ahead and call it software installation. Let's just leave it like that. And we don't buy that from anybody else. So let's save a new and we'll see if it's taxable. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to set up a service that, uh, let's say, that reviews QuickBooks. So this is more of an accounting service review uh quickbook transactions so once you actually do the training set up the client's uh, books then you want to come back and 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 review uh the the client's transactions to make sure they're doing a good job this could be under the premises of an accounting service or or not uh, and i'm going to charge him about um $1,000 for the year, just to make sure. And again, these are services, services income. What is the category? Well, this is a professional service. And under the professional services, I'm going to select um, accounting if there's such a thing. No, no accounting, uh, bookkeeping, and let's look for one. And you're going to have to go back and forth until you find the right one for you. And it might just be a general that says it's not associated with the sale of a tangible item. And that's basically all you would need to do. Um, I think this is a business service. So I'll leave it like that. Not associated with the sale of a tangible property. And then I'm going to save and close. Let me create now my products and let me just make sure that I use the FPs. FP, FP, FP. Okay, perfect. Please ignore the rest of the services that I have. 
that's for a different assignment. 